Hi brothers and sisters in Christ, I hope you are going very well. The Lord gave me this prophetic word to release for either one of you or for a few of you. And you will know if this word is for you, if it is applicable to the prayers you have been praying and questions you've been asking the Lord. So if this answers those prayers, take it to the Lord for confirmation. And if you've received that confirmation, you know with confidence that um, this word is that answer to that prayer. So you might have already received something like this answer already, and then this word might be that confirmation for you. But just weigh it up, take it to the Lord and ask Him for that. I will type out this word and I will put the link down in the description for you so that you can go and have a read through this word in your own time. So my beautiful God, Lord, I thank you so much that you always want to bring answers to your children when they ask you questions and prayer. I thank you so much, Lord, for your heart towards each and every child of yours. We just worship you and praise you. And Lord, I pray that you'll prepare the hearts in advance of those who need to hear this word, that you will let this word reach them in a timely fashion. And I just bind and I break by the power of your blood, my beautiful Jesus, any attempt of Satan to hinder this word. And I command any such attempts into utter darkness in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so the Lord said, My child, you are the difference. Just being you is more than enough for me to work with. For it is not by your power or effort, but through my spirit that I move and accomplish what is needed. I can use anything and work through anyone to accomplish what is needed. All I am looking for are willing and available hearts to say yes when I call. Do I not display my power through weakness? Why then do you keep disqualifying yourself? If I assign you a task, do I not provide all that is needed for you to do and accomplish that task? All you need to do is show up and say yes. Get your limited human reasoning out of the way and follow me to have my way in and through your life. If I wanted perfection, I would create you flawless, robotic, without reasoning, programmable. But that is not what I wanted. I want you free to reason and choose for yourself. I wanted you unique, reflecting my creativity in my creation. I enjoy seeing you grow. I enjoy seeing you be free in who I created you to be. If I wanted you to express me the way others do, would I not create you that way? If I wanted you to look like everyone else, would I not create you that way? You look at your flaws, yet I look at your heart. You look at your shortcomings and sin, and yet I look at the gold I placed inside of you. You look at what you don't have, yet I look at what you do have. You think you need to have it all together before I will work in and through you. But oh my darling child, are you not a piece of clay on my potter's wheel that I continually shape and mold to create a masterpiece? The masterpiece is only achieved at the end. But during the process of shaping and molding, there is movement. The movement helps to show weakness and areas that need improvement. And so I shape and mold it continuously. If you do not allow me to work in and through you, even in your imperfections, how can I then mold you in the areas that need molding? It needs to be revealed in the movement process. So do not hesitate. Do not refrain. Do not hold yourself back from learning and growing in me. I know how to help you clean up messes and how to learn from mistakes if you are willing to learn. Don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. All that is needed is surrender, willingness, faith, humility and obedience. I will get you where you need to be. Just keep surrendering, keep growing, keep seeking me, keep obeying me. You are my masterpiece. What a great word. My beautiful God, I just thank you so much for this beautiful word. Lord, I just pray for my brother and sister who might be disqualifying themselves from being used in your kingdom. I pray, Lord, that you will just give them revelation again, my beautiful Jesus, of what you did for them at the cross, and that you help them to realize, God, that none of us have it together. We all need you to continuously help us to improve in every area. I pray that you'll break off any hindrances of them, Lord, so that they will no longer be held back from growing and moving forward with you and to be available for you, Lord, to give them tasks as need be. In Jesus' most holy and powerful name, amen. 
All right, my brothers and sisters, have a wonderful day. God bless you.